Jenna here from MX Store, and today I'm gonna to show you how I fitted out my van, why I fitted it out the way I did, and some tips and tricks along the way. The reason why I chose to get a van is I've had utes in the past, uh, which are great, they're super convenient to chuck everything on and get going. However, the van is much more convenient. I can chuck all my bikes in, all my gear, keep it locked up if I want to duck into the shops, and then also I get the advantage of getting to sleep in it. So my first point of call was to call Ryan from Custom Conversions to get him to come down and fit it all out for me. So the first thing Ryan did was put some insulation in my van. That helps keep it cool in summer, warm in winter so I can sleep in it and be nice and cosy. And it also helps with the road noise while I'm driving. So once Ryan put the insulation in, then he put some wood up on the sides of the walls and carpeted it. The point of the wood is so that I don't do any damage uh, inside the van with my handlebars when I'm trying to get my bike in. Because obviously if I hit the inside of my panels, it's going to put a big dent on the outside. So that just helps protect the walls. I've opted for the speckly grey carpet, just so it's easy to hide any blemishes or dirt that comes into the van, which is naturally going to happen when I'm putting dirt bikes or mountain bikes in my car. Uh, and it also makes it uh, just nice and homey when I'm inside camping. I got Ryan to build me up some drawers for my van. Originally, I wanted to have just one long one that went down the back of the, the, back of the seats. However, uh, luckily we measured the bike and the length and everything like that to, and realised that I couldn't do that option. So I've opted to have the two drawers on top of each other which leaves the other side of my van free to put my front wheel in of my motorbike. So when Ryan built the drawers he also put in some uh, lockable drawer systems to make sure that the drawers don't fling open while I'm driving. Uh, and also I ducked down to King's and got myself a King's uh, extendable bench top, I guess you'd call it. Uh, super handy, stick it on the end of the drawer and just gives you a bit more space. One of the biggest questions is that I hear is how do I power my van? After doing a bit of research, I've opted for the easy way out. I'm only ever gonna go camping for a night or two, so I've opted for a lithium battery um, that I've just put in a battery box here. Um, putting it in the battery box allows me to utilize the USB charger and the 12 volt AC charger. Uh, this bad boy will run my fridge that I've got in the car, in the van, and also will charge up my phone, batteries, uh, any like lighting or anything like that, and it's enough to keep me sorted for a couple of days. One of my favourite things about my van build is this Risk Racing fuel can drum and carrier. It's got a plate that bolts on in, into the back of the van here and the fuel can just locks in nice and secure. I know it's not going to fall over, I know fuel is not going to go anywhere and it actually is a, the perfect size to fit behind the wheel arch and the back door. So it's nice and neat and tidy. So my ILO came with heaps of tie down points in it, which is super handy. But I also went and added the Ballard's front wheel holder. I love this thing because it's easy for me to guide my bike straight into it. I know where the front wheel is going to go every time and I can also take it out when I'm not using it so I have more space. So inside my van I've uh, added a few knick-knacky things. I've got a Ballard's cabinet on the wall here which holds uh, all your essentials, your chain lube, whatever else you want to put in there. It's also got a little rack for paper towel. I don't really use paper towel. I've got a rag hanging off there and my tie downs. Uh, and then I've also got the Ballard's helmet holder. So that's just a nice safe place to keep your helmet on the side of there. So another little extra that we've done is build a little side shelf here. Uh, this is super handy when you're inside the van camping at night to put all your, your phone or your book or anything that you want to store on there. Right now, helmet, get it out of the way. A great way to save space inside your van is not have to carry a quick shade with you. So I've gone along and put on a set of Chule roof racks so I can fit my Bush Ranger awning, which is absolutely uh, epic. So the Bush Ranger awning is super convenient, easy to set up. Uh, it's epic because it's always on the van, ready to go. Keeps me out of the sun in summertime or even in wintertime in here in Queensland when it's nice and sunny. And also if it starts to rain, good spot to go and hide under. A nice little addition is I've got the Bush Ranger floor mat also to keep the area nice and clean and tidy, especially if you're in some pits that are really dusty or got a bit of mud on them, it just helps keep everything clean. So I've got another tip for you. If your bike has a hole shot button, put it on. It helps lower the front end of the bike and if your van is low, like, like the eye load that I've got here is low, it just helps you get the, the bike in easier and without you clipping your knuckles on the roof. So yeah, hot tip. 
and that, my friends, is my van build. So if you want to check out any of the products that we've used inside the van, you can have a look in the description below and hit the product link. And if you have any questions or comments, you can do that too.